This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, good morning. Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Thanks so much for joining us right here in North Dakota today. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Jordan Schreyer. Hi, Jordan. Back at it. You Hi. got rid of me for two days, and here we are again. Well, I cried, so you had to come back. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> Jillian also one. joining us this morning. Yes, she's oh, still here. No, that's not true. Um, but yes, Jillian joining us live in a few minutes. She's out on location throughout our region with Aspire Optical and a uh, jeweler. <laughs> Did I make that up? Yes. No, you you cutting didn't. Edge. Cutting edge. The cutting I edge knew. gallery oh of jewelry. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. They're all in that kind of Blue Water Creek strip mall yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to see uh, their big kind of holidays are coming yeah. up. Yeah, holiday so, reveal. Yeah, you gotta, if you have anyone uh, you really like in your life, maybe get them a little <laughs> jewelry, maybe get yourself a new present, some glasses yeah. as well. Yeah. I know that they're running a deal on that, but anyway, she'll have the very latest on that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, big thing, you were, we were talking about it this morning already. Which one? The internet crashed. Oh, I was like, is it Christmas yet? That was bigger. We're or moving to that one. Or is it the Taylor Swift nope. Ticketmaster yes. meltdown? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am... Uh, really big into TikTok, so I saw tons and tons of videos, but also news stations across the country, including our own company, Gray, mm -hmm. putting out information about they're trying to find those Taylor Swift fans, trying to get tickets. So this is what happened. Yesterday at 10 a.m., Ticketmaster was launching their website for verified fans to get an early start at getting tickets. So this was an attempt to not let scalpers and bots buy up all of the tickets and then resell them for 10 mm -hmm. times the initial cost. Mm -hmm. So you had to be a verified fan through Ticketmaster, get online and wait in this online queue. Well, at 10 a.m., they opened up the floodgates and they crashed the site. And boy, the floodgates were opened. <laughs> yeah. You could say they were opened swiftly. <laughs> Absolutely, and by floodgates, I mean people were literally sobbing as well, <laughs> waiting at their computers. I saw someone posted on Facebook that they did get tickets and that they had their fiance uh, wait on the internet because they could, with their job, have a browser open, you know, Good. and wait For on what, it. what, eight hours? Seven. Yep. Mm hmm Okay, so it opened at 10 a.m. again. Even one of our producers for uh, Valley Today, she got online yesterday. She was leaving work, and she goes, I'm getting on. Which I'm one? getting my Taylor Swift tickets. Katie. Oh. <laughs> I was like, hmm? hey, hey, girl. Yeah, sorry. I was like, wait, you're having conversations without me? What? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, all right. Okay. I asked her what her plans were, too. Uh, okay. Um, no, I said, did you get your tickets? Because I was scared. I got scared for her that she might not have made it through the queue. Because this was like thousands and thousands and thousands up to millions of people waiting. Oh, the world. America. Right. Basically. So yeah. she was waiting for the Minneapolis venue, which okay. she told me mm -hmm. they opened a second show. She did. She added another one. Yes. So yeah. I'm like, okay, good, good, good. Uh, but basically people like, so you're watching the countdown. It's telling you when you're next in line. Mm -hmm. They'd get to be like, okay, you're next in line. The thing crashes. Yep. Then it refreshes. Yep. Then you're thousands. Like, what was it? Like code 707 or error code 504, yes. whatever it was, it yes. would pop up and then they were like, what? And then refresh, refresh, error, 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 error. Mm -hmm. And so Swifty's documenting this, whether it was a happy result or a sad, sad, sold out yeah. result. Oh. Everything was spewed online. So this was very, very serious. Ticketmaster not releasing any statements. Taylor Swift, I was stalking her Twitter this morning. No updates from her either, which of course it's not her fault that she's just so famous and popular and big. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't, <laughs> you, she can't control the quality of Ticketmaster's website. Right. You know, she has no say in that. Right. That is just a third party vendor. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think they just weren't anticipating Well, that this. is what they said. So they haven't given an update to the response, I should say. But they said uh, it was an unprecedented amount. But then everyone made jokes and said, well, you sent out the early code to millions of people. Did you think we weren't going to use it? <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's kind of accurate. Like, if you're going to send it to, you know, millions of people across the country, be yes. ready for millions of people across the country yes. to do it. So. I, I mean, congratulations if you did get the tickets or maybe your granddaughters, your families, your sisters, whoever. Good yeah. luck. Yeah. Um, and I have fun at the show. If you didn't get those tickets, now I'm scared because I didn't try to purchase any. I was myself. just about to say you wanted to go to the show. Oh, absolutely. You were going to go to the. I was I was doing a toss up. It was okay. either going to be Detroit or Minneapolis because okay. I was I was going to try to meet up with friends okay. uh, back home in Michigan. Minneapolis. Yeah. Or or yeah, head over. I haven't been to the cities yet, so mm -hmm. that would have been fun too. But then I was like, oh, I have to work all day. Well, I guess I could have gotten out of work and then waited in line still. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Like everyone else in the world. <laughs> yeah, it took seven hours just to get through the online line. Uh, but that should be fun. But, oh, what I'm going to say is I'm nervous about the resale 
value now. Oh. So say mm -hmm. you go on Ticketmaster and you see, because you can resell your tickets that you bought. Which is just I'm ridiculous. Like, That's going to be like thousands Crazy. of dollars. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see what happens. But an Oof. absolute epic meltdown of the internet. It really was. You really, oh my gosh. So Ticketmaster is now saying it's me. Hi. I'm the problem. I'm the problem. It's me. It's me. Oh, fun fact. That's her bio. That's Taylor Swift's bio on Twitter. I'm the problem, it's me. Accurate. It is you, girl. <laughs> That's a line from her song, one of her most recent yep, hits. Yep, yep, uh, anti-hero. Yeah, and it's making quite the uh, the wave. The rounds, <laughs> yeah. you could say. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no, I mean, I think they expected, this is the first time she's toured since uh, Reputation. Wasn't is that it? it? Yeah, because it was way before, because all the pandemic things yep. were folklore yep. and evermore yep. and yep. all those hideaway yep. kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think she toured with Lover. And so, oh, I did she? <laughs> she might have. Oh, We're going to have to look into the tour. Yeah, here. don't trust me. But I'm this like, is an all encompassing tour. It's called Eras. So oh, she's like. everything. Yeah, she's looking at the whole okay, backlog okay. here. Well. Also, side note, she just got nominated for a Grammy uh, for her song All Too Well, the 10 minute Taylor's version. Oof. So Grammy announcements just came out as well, on top yeah, of everything that's else. True. Yeah, right, just a, just a few things going yeah, on here not? today. <laughs> well, uh, all the best of luck to you. Uh, thanks, in yes. your endeavors. It's to be Hunger Games for these Taylor Swift really, tickets. It really will. I'm not, if you don't get it, I'll just, I don't know, slide some popcorn over and be then orange. just say anything. <laughs> yeah, be quiet in my corner. June. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we know that's not going to happen. <laughs> well, I guess this is where you could go to be quiet. Uh, it's beginning to look like. A lot like Christmas. A lot like Christmas. Yeah, it's a, to quote Taylor Swift, uh, it is a Christmas tree farm <laughs> at my house. That's one of her songs. Great yeah. song, anyway. I decorated for Christmas yesterday. Is Aww. it too early? No, it's not. Not in my world, anyway. It snowed. We need this. So, yeah, yeah. that's uh, my living room. How cute. Oh, I know. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'll just be quiet and save the compliments for the end. You know, when at award shows, they're like, could you hold the applause to the end? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, it's just me clapping for every photo. Yep. Thank you, thank okay. you. Uh, that, my fireplace, I love that with the garland and the candles. And the, it's hard to see because they're at the bottom, but those little uh, carolers by the bottom of my yeah. fireplace. My grandma painted those, hand painted. <gasps> um, of course. And so I love it too because I love singing. And then uh, oh, here's I, had, Lincoln's office. I even decorated my piano <laughs> for uh, Christmas. It's hard to see, but there is garland up on top of it. And then I have vintage uh, carolers, more carolers, of course, mm -hmm. that I put on top of it. And yes, I do have vintage Christmas music books that As I have should. also artfully displayed on the front of the piano. As you should. Yeah, so no, can I play anything in those books? Absolutely not. Maybe I could if I sat down and tried, but... But he will sing them. Uh, oh, I will sing them. sing his heart I out. will <laughs> sing them quite loudly, and they will be on display because they complete my Christmas aesthetic. And if you would like a Christmas tour at the Trader Hospital, $25... <laughs> Because <laughs> I need to buy new decorations because this isn't cheap. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that last night. I was like, gosh, I never have any money to go on vacation or to do anything I want to do. And then I looked what around and that? I said, I think I figured out where it goes. I think I figured out where it goes. <laughs> is it this vintage hutch? Is it, this <laughs> is it the fact that I piano? <laughs> bought vintage Christmas music strictly to display? Uh, uh, we love it. We love it. That's next level. It's, no, it's your level. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's what I did yesterday. So I had Christmas music on. I was in the spirit. I was drinking my wine. I was running around the house. Also, I you was, know, like, the garland was up. Oh, yeah, and then afterwards you have to clean, you know, because you had glitter and yep. stuff everywhere. Yeah, so no, I agree. That's I'm, why I had to buy a new vacuum for my carpet. Oh, yeah, I remember you said that. Right? Didn't that you put glitter, your tree up? The pine needles? Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. Okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. I know some people out there are like, no, you can't do it till Christmas or Thanksgiving's over, and I'm just like, That's oh no, it's great not, for you in your that. house. Right? Yeah, it's whatever yeah. makes you yeah, happy. I agree. I mean, this weekend's high is gonna be nine degrees. Oof. I think you're gonna want to stay inside and yeah. maybe put up the Christmas. Yeah, decoration. right. It's all you're gonna be able to do. <laughs> uh, anyway, but speaking about nice, sparkly, shiny things, yeah. aside from Christmas decorations, <laughs> a cutting edge gallery of jewelry is going to be on our show today, mm -hmm. showing off some of the nice things they have in their showroom. Absolutely. And up first, our local steals and deals.